Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about glyphosate toxicity and talking about GMOs, glyphosate, and gut health. So glyphosate unfortunately shuts down the shikimic acid pathway in plants, and this is important. You may have heard of shikimic acid in other you know, areas of discussion in our modern world these days, but it's important to know that shikimic acid is important for the health of our gut flow flora and if we don't have that proper gut flora we know that our immune system is compromised we know that tryptophan is now disrupted by this pathway when we have glyphosate toxicity and we know that we need tryptophan to make our melatonin and melatonin of course our sleep hormone but melatonin is also a big detoxifier it's a big antioxidant in our body and we also need melatonin to protect us from those heavy metals so when we have enough melatonin it helps to bind to heavy metals such as mercury, aluminum, and copper, as well as lead toxicity. So we can run the risk of having that heavy metal toxicity when we have too much glyphosate exposure in the foods that we're eating, and this then can lower our melatonin, which then the risk factors for cancer and other diseases go through the roof as well. So this is something that we definitely have to educate ourselves more about glyphosate and all the sources of glyphosate. Please check out my other video on that so that you can really limit your exposure. Now glyphosate is important for liver health as well in terms of the fact that it disrupts our cytochrome P450 enzymes and this is what we need to help to activate our vitamin D. We know that the importance of vitamin D in terms of helping our immune system and vitamin D deficiency is of epidemic levels right now and this is something that we definitely, it's one thing to get natural sunlight, it's one thing to take vitamin D, but if we're shutting down our ability to activate our vitamin D into that active vitamin D3 in our liver because we have glyphosate toxicity, then we aren't going to get the benefits of vitamin D, especially for our immunity. So that's really, really important for people to know. Now glyphosate can also affect our VGCC. So this is something that I talked about in the EMF show. And what VGCCs are the voltage gated calcium channels. So whether it's EMF exposure or also glyphosate toxicity, what happens is that it's causing too much calcium to flood into our voltage gated cells and this is something that we do not want it can also allow for too much aluminum to enter and this is something that can now offset our calcium metabolism and this is something that we don't want to have that correlation one of the things that too much calcium also fluoride toxicity which i talk about in another episode with this glyphosate toxicity can now cause the calcification of our pineal gland this is our third eye center and again for me that mind body connection with our third eye with this chakra it's so important to be able to see things beyond just the physical world so making that connection now with shutting down our intuition with perhaps because of the glyphosate that we are ingesting it's another thing that we definitely have to think about now glyphosate because of its chemical structure replaces glycine glycine being an amino acid which is really important for the anti-aging and longevity benefits of our body now when we have this glyphosate replacing the glycine in our our cells this can cause something called protein folding and this is very detrimental to our mitochondrial health we know that we need healthy mitochondria for longevity for anti-aging to give us our vital energy but this is very much related to something called prion diseases so back in 1986 in the UK you may have heard of mad cow disease and this whole outbreak of mad cow disease and it was told I mean in the news that you know if the cow Cow was eating another infected cow then this would be the problem in terms of the transmission of the mad cow disease what they didn't tell you was that this was a glyphosate story so the feed for the cattle that were you know succumbing to this illness there fields were sprayed with the glyphosate and so the ingestion of the glyphosate 
in their feed was definitely, you know, cause and effect for the mad cow disease. Now in humans, this is called creutzfeldt jakob disease, and because of that glyphosate toxicity, it's something that we definitely have to be aware of in terms of not having proper brain function. So I'm just, you know, you can definitely do more research on this whole, yeah, and the history of glyphosate, it really is interesting and it's not something, you know, there's so much information out there that I couldn't possibly put it all in one video, but I want you, if you are interested in this, to definitely do your due diligence and learn more. Now, glyphosate also, unfortunately, increases the mold production. So there's a specific mold called Fusarium species in crops. And this means that now in the farming of these crops, more fungicide is going to be needed in order to control the fungus, but also it increases our mycotoxin exposure. And this, of course, will disrupt our healthy gut flora. So when we look at having a healthy microbiome, there are so many different factors and GMO foods and glyphosate are definitely part of that story. Now glyphosate also impacts in a negative way the growth of our healthy gut flora. So having that proper balance, which I always talk about, having enough of our probiotics and having that good healthy microbiome versus an unhealthy microbiome. And this is unfortunately, it's been shown that glyphosate can allow for the more pathogenic, so the unfriendly gut bacteria to propagate and to grow and to thrive. So things like salmonella, as well as clostridia, klebsiella, some of the less favorable organisms that we don't want to have too much of in our guts can definitely affect the inflammation, what's going on with leaky gut syndrome in our guts as well. So really, you know, making sure that you're limiting your glyphosate exposure is very important to help with that leaky gut syndrome, also decreasing that overall inflammation in the gut. We also know that that brain gut connection, so what's happening in our mind, and in our gut definitely affects the way that we feel on a daily basis. So when we look at depression, when we look at attention spans, this is all related to glyphosate as well in terms of that toxicity. So today we talked all about glyphosate toxicity, GMOs, glyphosate, and your gut health. If you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your great feedback back. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.